Now, house prices are at a six-year high and the average wedding now costs around £16,000. So for some couples, doing both is financially very difficult, often impossible. Now, a new reality show, which starts today, called Marriage or Mortgage, is shining a light on these two mammoth milestones. Interesting. So is buying a house more of a commitment than walking down the aisle? What would you choose, Frankie, if you had to choose one or the other? Oh, I think it's so hard. I think nowadays it is so hard. You know, like you said, buying a house is so difficult. And, you know, I have quite a lot of friends that are kind of going through this at the minute where they're having to choose either or or trying to do both. Um, Wayne and I did end up having quite a big wedding. But initially, I wanted to get married abroad um, purely, and it sounds awful, but purely to get the numbers down because, you know, <laughs> you knew there would be people that wouldn't come. Um, but my granddad, bless him, didn't have a passport at the time, so we decided to do it in the UK, which then meant inviting so many more people because I think a wedding becomes, in the end, so political, you know, so many people expect to be invited. There's so many people you feel like you have to invite. So they become bigger and bigger and then people have got partners and they are so expensive. Um, and my parents always encouraged me and my sister um, to spend that money on either to travel or to buy a house. And, and I think that's a really nice way to look at it. But I also know that for some people that big day is so important and it's a memory and it's a moment in time. So mm. I think if I went backwards, I possibly would have had a smaller wedding, but Wayne may now divorce me for saying that. So <laughs> Don't I'm divorce in big away. trouble. Don't divorce a Wayne for that. That wouldn't be nice. Uh, Kelly, what, what would you advise maybe your children going forward? You know, if, would you say, yeah, have the big day or, or bricks and mortar is the way forward? I would say um, leave the wedding costs to me and I would tell them to think about the mortgage because, you know, when you first get married, those first few years, depending on how long you've been together, there's so many other pressures that come into play, you know, whether you're going to have children, this, that and the other. I think having that mortgage and that financial stability in place from the off is really, really important. And putting that in place will then give them the freedom to be able to focus on the, you know, the nice things, the travel, the this, the app, whatever, the other things they want to do. But having that mortgage in place and financial stability, I think, is the most important thing. And leave the paying of the wedding to maybe me and dad and family to put together. I'd like to support them so that they can, you know, really look about, look, look, put the focus on their future, really, because yeah. the wedding's just one day. The wedding is just one day, Janet, but then you've had how many? About 22 now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like four. Yeah. <laughs> Loves the wedding. <laughs> Loves the wedding. I'm not that bothered about spending loads of money on a... I've never understood the idea of spending loads of money on a wedding. Never. But I can see that for a lot of young people today who see the prospect of buying somewhere out of their price range, that's why they're spending money on a wedding, because mm. there's no way they can get together the deposit mm. uh, for, on somewhere to live. Mm. I mean, I was lucky enough the first time because I was earning so very little and so was my husband, my father-in-law made uh, lent us just enough money to put down the minimum deposit and then we paid him back. We oh. absolutely worked to, uh, every single hour for the first two years to pay him back that money because I didn't want to be tied to my father-in-law mm. in that way. Uh, and then we did struggle to mm. pay the mortgage. Now, the problems that I have seem tiny compared to, to, to what people have today. Also, when you think that 42% of marriages are going to end in divorce... Oh, that's dear, something, that's depressing, well, isn't well, it? Well, I know it's depressing it's and you think true. it's going to happen yeah. to you. Does that alter whether you think you should have a party or put the money down on a house? Whatever, I'd say put the money down on a house and make sure you have not just a prenuptial agreement, but a good legal agreement, so that if you're unlucky enough to be in the 42% of marriages that end, you know how your assets are going to be mm. divided. Mm. I think, you know, buying somewhere to live is the most frightening thing in your life. And when you put the money down, it just changes your whole attitude to life. Yeah. It changes how you're going to work. And it, I mean, that's one of the reasons why so many women in this country are working on zero hours contracts. They're working in, you know, terrible jobs because they're trying to pay for where they live. And that's the mm. single biggest scandal, actually. Yeah. I mean, £16,000 £16, minimum, that's, you know, that's the average mm. minimum 
for wedding. It's so much money, isn't it? But um, I, de I definitely, you know, Eamon and I did have a big wedding, but we got married in our 40s. I also did a, 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 a magazine wedding, mm. so, which helps, you know, and we had a lot of people. We've gathered a lot of people in our lives when you're in your 40s. And it was the most wonderful day. I absolutely loved my wedding. But had yeah. I been 20, 20, I bought my first flat when I was 19. Absolutely not in a million years would I have spent money on a wedding like that or any size. Because my thing then was I want my own place I want mm. I want to paint the walls yeah. I want to do whatever yeah. I like in my place it was really important to me That's right. the bricks and mortar were my would have been my thing at that age yeah That's, I think there's yeah. pressure now though to have the big fancy wedding just almost just for Instagram yeah, Instagram, <laughs> yeah, that's a good, yeah, we, yeah, we didn't have that. Uh, let's know what you think about that one. Um,